Hello everybody and welcome back to my Desert Only Iron Man series, episode 12. Uh, it's been about a month or so since my last episode. A lot of things have been happening, so I just decided that I can finally get this video out now. And I'm kind of bummed it didn't go as I planned. I wanted it to end a little bit differently, but um, anyway, progress is progress, so I decided to go ahead and get this episode out. Uh, starting off the episode, I did receive a comment in my last video about farming and doing the Sorcerer's Garden. Um, I really kind of forgot about this minigame in general, just out of the desert area, um, because it is right by Shanty Pass, and it's kind of hidden just because it's in a little shack and you have to be uh, have to go through a teleport to get to it. But anyways, this is kind of an easy way how to get some farming experience as well as some thieving experience. Essentially, you'll just go to the end of the maze, um, grab the fruit, you get farming experience for grabbing the fruit. I got to level 5, and then when you get enough of the fruits, um, you can make them into uh, squirk juices to get thieving experience. So I ended up getting from level 2 to level 5 farming, and I also got level 46 thieving. Um, like I said at the beginning, I did not reach the goal I was going to. Um, the goal I'm going for is really just RNG based at this point because I'm waiting for level 5 hunter. Um, so I can get that skill grind going, get the easy diaries done. Um, get that amulet. Um, there's not really much with that amulet that I need, but getting the five hunter is kind of what I want to do just so I can get to my impling grind and thieving. I'm sorry, not thieving, hunting. So what I ended up doing was I just tried to do some things that were um, to induce any random events, trying to get the genie or the imp um, random event. I need two of those to level up and get level five hunter. Um, so I'm just going through and I had a lot of supplies in my bank so I was just doing random skills that I could find. Um, I did some fletching, herb lore, a lot of wood cutting, and then like at the beginning thieving and farming as well. And then I also ended up reaching another one of my goals which was level 60 defense. Um, as you can see here I ended up doing a maze random event and got 200 death runes. Um, those death runes are really important for my um, late game Calphite Queen. But anyways, here's the first imp of the video, the book of knowledge, so I can get one step closer to level 5 hunter. Unfortunately, at the end of this, you'll see that after using this book, I end up coming within 8 experience of level 5 hunter. Um, I, have already, I already calculated it out, so I knew, but it kind of stinks. This is the second time, I think, level 2 to 3, I was 1 experience away. So it kind of hurts when you fall just short of that level. Anyways, like I was explaining in the uh, previous clip, there's level 60 defense. Um, from this point on, I have 60 attack and 60 defense with 65 strength. I'll be going just strength from here on out, probably until maybe like level 75 or 80, if I want to grind that much. Just because I know that the strength is going to be very important for Calphite Queen with the Karis, and I'm going to need to get really lucky with that as well. A random uh, mining level coming in as well. Uh, I needed to mine some iron so that I can smelt the steel bars. I got the coal from the Scarab Mages. They dropped 32 noted. Um, I would say it's probably an uncommon drop. I don't get it too often, but anyways, um, I just needed the iron. I ended up mining a couple hundred iron ore just so I don't need to do this, as well as mine some coal on the side as well. And um, I did just get the beekeeper random event to get the um, flax, so that's the only way I can really get flax for bowstrings, but that's not important unless I can get to level 75 woodcutting, which I'm working on here, and level, I think it's 75 uh, fletching as well, maybe level 80 for magic short bows. So the bulk of this, <laughs> the rest of this video is going to be a lot of woodcutting and fletching those teak logs into teak uh, crossbow stocks. Again, I'm just looking for a random event, trying to get the genie or get the uh, Book of Knowledge random event as well. I don't think I've gotten a genie since maybe like level 2 um, hunter, so I'm really expecting to get that genie anytime soon. I ended up getting maybe 3 of the Miles random event, which you just choose um, what item is on the screen. Um, not really helpful. I think I got maybe a gem or some coins. So hopefully, I know it's all random, so there's no set order to these random events, but I do hope to get that last random event shortly. Because I killed so many Alcred warriors, I did get a bunch of herbs, 
So I ended up making as many anti-poison and energy potions as possible. So I ended up leveling from level, well I started the video at level 31, cleaning herbs got me to level 32, and then just making all the potions ended up getting me all the way up to level 35. Three more levels away from the prayer potions, I'm sure I'll get there before I get to the implings to get the snape grass, so I'm not too worried about that. With all of the coal I got, I got a bunch of steel bars. Um, I'm just making them into steel darts just because they give, I think, the best fletching experience out of any of the things between bolts, arrows, or in the darts. Each dart would be 7.5 experience, so every time you put 10 feathers on, you'll get 75. Um, so I had about 3,000 or so darts to make, and that got me up to... Um, the low 50s in fletching. But along with making the darts, making those crossbow stocks as well, um, I ended up this video getting up to about level 55 fletching, and I ended up with 62 uh, woodcutting as well. One of the lone non-skilling highlights of the clip, or of this video, is going to be a clue scroll. Uh, like I said, the first step was in the dual arena, so I decided that I can complete it no matter where it goes. Um, in the following clip, you're going to see that I ended up finishing in Falador, and I got the medium diary because I teleported there. Um, I really don't have anything against teleporting if it's clue-based, so just to pick up some speed. I also got the quiz master random event, and got the mystery box, and only got 500 coins. Uh, not the best, but obviously not the worst either. And the clue came out to be a studded body, which I don't have, so it is an upgraded item for range as well as for the Scarab Mages. I was only a couple crafting levels away from making it, so it's not that big of a deal. If I really wanted it, I could have already gotten it, but um, an upgrade's an upgrade, so I don't need to worry about getting those five crafting levels to make the studded body. Finishing up this video, just some more wood cutting and fletching. Um, one thing I didn't mention in the earlier in the video is I ended up getting 900 total level. I think with the final level in this video, I get up to 911. Um, 1,000 total levels would be a great uh, milestone to hit. Uh, once Hunter is unlocked, that's an easy 50 or 60 levels there, so I'll easily cruise to it once that happens. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to say thanks for the support. Even though I haven't posted a video in about a month, um, I'm still getting a few subscribers a day, which is huge in my books. I think I went from maybe like the high 290s up to like 375 in the last month just without a video. So hopefully the progress keeps going and I get that uh, random event soon.